Hi, everybody. So um, for those who don't know, this is the original iMac that saved Apple back in 1998. Um, this is called the Bondi Blue. It's the first model. It came in one color that was translucent blue, affectionately called Bondi Blue. And I'll show you that a little bit here. So you can kind of see that um, this translucent plastic allows you to see what's inside um, the uh, the actual case itself. So you can see the CRT cage. Um, being able to look inside your electronics was a cool thing in the 1990s because it was a very optimistic time when it came to technology. So um, the cooler, the better. I'm going to move this back here and let's turn it on and see how well this uh, performs. I've got the, I don't have a keyboard plugged in, but I do have the original puck mouse plugged in there um, because we won't need anything more than that. It's just a rollerball mouse. It's not the most ergonomic, but uh, it did the job. So I'm going to turn that on right now and let's see it boot. This particular machine I uh, actually found um, next to a dumpster behind a little shortstop convenience store. Um, someone had decided to dump uh, extra furniture and uh, clothing and knickknacks and stuff, probably because they were moving. Um, and instead of taking it to the dump, they dumped it in, in next to that dumpster. And I noticed just out of the corner of my eye when I was near it that there was a an iMac on the top of one of the Tuppermaid tubs, right? And so it was in near mint condition and I thought, okay, maybe it works. So I took it home and sure enough, it booted up just fine. So we can see Mac OS 9.2 being loaded. This machine, um, when I found it had 288 megs of Ram, um, not the original 32 because it had been upgraded. So I took the extra 256 megs out um, to restore it back to its original configuration for this video so that you can see what the performance was like uh, back in 1998 if you bought one of these machines with the base specs. And so you can see a bunch of windows being loaded there. I've got Internet Explorer right here as one of the key applications. Uh, it's loading MSN Messenger by default because it's configured as a startup item, obviously. And so I'm going to quit out of that. And the time, of course, is, is wrong because uh, the battery on the motherboard has long since died. So let me close down MSN Messenger, file and quit. And uh, we can open up Internet Explorer, but because I'm not connected to an Ethernet-based um, Internet connection, uh, it's going to complain that it can't connect to the Apple default web page in a few seconds. Yes, um, there is no Wi-Fi on these machines. It's just cable Ethernet. So I'm going to quit out of Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer back then was the best web browser for any platform. And so, uh, you know, we make fun of it nowadays, but uh, it was actually a great uh, web browser back then. So I'm going to close that down. And the other thing I have on this machine is um, I have uh, Dinosaur Adventure 3D. This was a game my daughter used to play. She loved to play this game. Um, she originally played it on a Pentium 2 that I had built in the 90s uh, with 64 megs of RAM. And it actually runs faster on, on this iMac G3 with 32 megs of RAM from what I remember. It loads faster, it runs faster. And so let's check that out. So these machines were actually quite powerful for the time. You know, I'm quite impressed with uh, how well it ran from what I remember back in 1998. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit because I did not connect the keyboard. Really wanna leave there we go. 
So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of um, the original iMac. It's a pretty spiffy little machine for the time, running Mac OS uh, 9.2. I'll just go to about this computer there. And I know that might be difficult to see, but um, uh, it does say that it has 32 megs of RAM and um, there's 21.9 megs of it uh, currently reserved by the operating system. Uh, that doesn't mean much. It just means that that's what macOS is reserved. It can, it doesn't use all that necessarily. And so I'm going to close that down and uh, I will shut down this machine.